Okay. Okay. Yes, it's me. <laughs> Yes, I am. How are you? I'm fine. I will just uh, take this inside. What are the leaves for? Yes, it's okay. You will boil them. Then the water. You will use it and bathe. But I already told you that these things don't work. We cannot give up now. We cannot. We must keep fighting till we find a solution. But what if there is no solution? That's okay. Don't please don't say that. Right. Honestly, I appreciate your concern towards me. But you can't just keep your life on hold waiting for me to get better. No, I'm not keeping my life on hold. I'm not just being kind to you. I love you. I want to marry you. <laughs> Fred, please stop. <laughs> At least, just boil the leaves and use the water and bait. Of course I will. It's just that I don't want you to keep your hopes up, only for you to be disappointed later. Don't worry about me. Do you need anything? No, I'm okay. I'm fine. You're sure? I'm very sure. Thank you for this, sir. I take this one to inside. I will. Thank you. So, I'll leave you now so I can go. No problem. Thank you. I should help you with someone. No, don't worry. I'm fine. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye bye. Bye. Bye now. <laughs> I'm going. Sometimes you may feel okay. a bit confused. How are you? I'm okay. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll speak to you already. What's the news? What? I can see the way you're smiling, she pushed What's the news? <laughs> ben asked me to marry you. <laughs> Congratulations. Sorry. Thank you. You know, he's the best thing that ever happened to me. Are you okay? Or aren't you happy for me? Of course I'm happy for you. Then what is the problem? Shola, do you think I'll ever get married? I'm so sorry. All my friends are getting married. Soon you'll be married too. Sadly, in my state I won't be able to attend. You can't even come close to me. Don't worry, okay? Miracle still happens, okay? Shall I tell me? Where is the miracle? I want to see this miracle. I want to touch it. I want to feel it. I even want to kiss it. So now I haven't even been kissed. And yet you're telling me about miracles? Okay, it's okay. It's fine. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... I didn't mean to spoil your mood, okay? I'm so sorry. Um, what about Ben? Your family, have they accepted his proposal? Not yet. Ben promised to come with his people tomorrow. Wow. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. <laughs> so, these are the things you want me to buy for you? Oh, yes. But, thank you so much, Shola. Thank you. I appreciate everything you do for me. Thank you so much. It's okay. What are friends for? Okay. Hmm? Yeah. So, <sighs> the bro, do you have anyone to give to your customers today? Oh, no. Fred helped me to take some to the customers. I'm working on these new ones, even when I'm done. So, I'll just go and buy those things. Don't be bad again. No, I won't. Alright, I'll see you soon. Don't forget it.
God. Please, this is the last day. Let this thing walk. Please. Please wait. Um, you don't need to calm down. What do you want? Do you prefer that we're talking like this? Yes, you you won't understand. Please, what do you want? My name is Doctor Daphne. I'm supposed to resume at the village hospital. Oh, you are the new doctor. Yeah. You're welcome. Like, how do I get to the hospital? Once you get to the junction, just turn right. You go straight down. You see the hospital. You won't miss it. Okay, so when I get to the junction, I make it right. Yes. But do you prefer that we're shouting like this? It's okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Can I drop you? No, sir. You're welcome to our village. Yeah. Dr. Daphne, is this the hospital? Yes. Oh my goodness. Oh. I am Deborah. I mean, Nurse Deborah. You are so handsome. And it's so nice to meet you. Um, I'm Nurse Nike. And this is Gabriel, our lab technician. You're welcome, sir. It's nice to meet you. Um, I would like to meet the entire staff. <laughs> Where is it, sir? You are the entire staff? Yes, all three of us. So two female nurses and one male lab technician? I see. So who's supposed to show me to where I am staying? Uh, I'll meet you guys. Uh, Gabriel, Gabe, right? Yes, okay. All right, fine, let's go. I'll find you, doctor. He is so rude. Like, he's so full of himself. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's just pray he stays. That's all. He will not stay. You better not hope for that. We cannot go one more week in this hospital without the doctor. That doesn't change the father. He is so full of himself. And you, why did you have to gush over a stranger like that? Not all men appreciate it. Learn to respect yourself. Thank you. Thank you. How is the electricity here? Um, when the electricity here is not that stable. And they don't even have a generator. It's not that bad. I'm sure you like my people. Come on, yeah. I just want to be. I want to leave right now. I don't want to stay here for any reason. Come on, let me show you inside. Mr. Gabriel, right? Yes. There's nothing else to see. Okay, don't worry, I'll take you from here. Okay, don't, don't worry, you can go. Oh, yes, I appreciate it. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You mean he said that to your face? Yes. And I don't think he's going to work. It has to work. We need him. We cannot afford to lose him. Then what do you suggest we do? We try to convince him that we are worth it. We should do everything in our power to make him feel welcome. Look, we really need him. We can't afford to lose him. He has to be here until Dr. Elvis arrives. I know, but what do we do? He's so arrogant. I mean, he's way too arrogant. Look at the way he looks at us as if we were beneath him. And then maybe you are beneath him. 
I don't have time for office gossip. Let's get to work. Where's my office? Um, it's, it's that way, sir. Can you show it to me, please? Okay. Yes. Can you show it to me, sir? I think it's better to go back to the fishing. Yes. Okay. Well, how are you? I'm fine. How have you been? I'm okay. How is work? Uh, everything is okay. Uh, any good news? Good news. You're in the best position to tell me now. I don't think he worked. When I told you that you shouldn't keep your hopes up. These things don't work. Stop keeping your hopes up. See those guys over there. They are waiting for me. Let me go and meet them. I'll come back. I promise. Okay, no problem. I bought this for you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me go. I'll come back. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Ah, this red guy. He's such a nice guy. Guys, what happened? What can you? I mean, I don't answer like this. Who has it not okay? They shut up your mouth. Then tell us what not okay, if not okay. What is the woman saving from wine, please? Sorry. Guys, seriously, you need to leave that girl. I should leave her for you. No, 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 no. Just tell me. Should I leave to care for you? Leave her for me. Me. What I want to do with her? When I'm not stupid. Seriously, friend. I don't understand it these days anymore. I don't understand. You keep wasting your time and resources on something that is a total waste. I told you not once, not twice. I have hope. I have hope. We will find a cure. You find a cure. That is what you have been saying now for the past four years. Say that. If our mom couldn't find solutions, then it's hopeless. Eh? Can't you think? So what do you want me to do? Abandon her? Who, 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 who will help her to survive? Is it you? Or is it you? Uh, give me my wine now. Wait, 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 wait. Are you trying to say that I want to live your life on pity for her? Is it? You know it's not pity. No, 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 no. You know it's not pretty. You know I am in love with Toki. You know that. I know you love her, but you can't do it with her. Eh? Can't you see? Just leave him. Let him keep wasting his time and money o -o 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 on her. Love her boy. Is it your time and money? No, no, no. Tell me, is it your time and money, Ben? Is it your money I'm spending? Eh? Did I come to your house and carry him and go and get okay? It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I, I beg, uh, talk about that. Did you see the man? Or is it okay that we'll be talking for money tonight? Well, well, I saw him, but he's insisting on saying. Yeah, I had this, I had an uh, idea three of us going together would not really be uh, the best decision. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you being the surveyor and you being the architect. And you are the engineer. Uh, 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 but I, I, I've, been, I've been wondering, do you think we'll get the contract? You got out this house already now, what are you thinking? <laughs> because I'm so excited because if we can get this more money, I, 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 can, I can do something for Tokyo. I can buy her uh, beautiful things. I can give uh, to us already. That's what you are celebrating here. Yeah. Uh, madam, give me for money now. Give me for money. Sir, I don't, don't even know where she went. Because see, once we get this contract, I can save my money and I'm here at Tokyo. Guy, 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 guy. Stop mentioning this Tokyo again. Stop it. Why do you just want to spoil this move now? <laughs> eh? Madam, go give me for money now. No, guy, I can't. No, no. I can't take it anymore. This place is unbearable. The electricity is terrible. The roads are bad. The people are just weird as like they are really super weird. I can't do it now, guy. No. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. No, no, it's weird. I understand what's going on, but it's, it's crazy. But okay, let me call you back. I beg you, I'll call you back. So, do you have a key to this room? What? You, Jesus Christ, what does that? How do you have a key to my home? I should eat. If I have dirty clothes, I should put it. How, uh, like, who are these people? How, who, who does this? Nah, no, I'm not going to do this. I can't eat this. I don't know who cooked it. So what could be... Let's just... Let's just pray. Huh? 
It's been long that I slept deep and long like this one. The food was good. The food was so good. This one. Nine. What's going on? You mean patients? Yes. They're here to see a doctor. Why so many? Sir, we haven't had a doctor in three months. What? Sir. Let's get to it, quickly. Get me the first patient. Okay, I'll do that, sir. So just take this to the lab and uh, they will help you out, okay? Sorry. Sorry, you'll be fine. Sorry. Next! Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So how are you feeling? Um, your temperature, everything is okay? Yes. How's the baby doing? Is she doing okay? Okay, awesome. Let me just do something. Okay, so um, I'll just get a nurse to take care of you. Nurse! Yes, I'm only doing my job. And God bless you for coming to take care of us. It's not a problem. Um, please take the video and show her what to do. Thank you very much. Easy. Thank you very much. Next! That's what I was asking. Oh. Is left. Yes. You did it. Yes, Dr. You did it. Okay, ah, uh, so I think I'm just going to stretch my legs with you. You deserve it. If you need me, just call me. Okay, okay. so you know where I am, just call me and I'll come. Okay, okay. Sir. All, right. all right. All right. Have a good day. All right, you too. Alice, he knows what he's doing. I never for once doubted his ability. He looks way too confident to be in an entity. I hope he lasts. He will. Are you ready to bet on it? No, I'm not betting with him. And both of you had better start putting up a positive attitude. Stop acting like we can afford to lose him. We survived before. Barely. You're sure of something? Put your money to it? Whatever. Hey, you, you remember my name? Yes, I do. <laughs> How is your first day going? Well, so far, so good. Wait! Please don't come close. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong. But just don't come close. Are you scared of me? Mm -mm. Okay, so why why do you do that? It's it's nothing. Please don't don't come close. What's your name? My name is Amotoke, but people call me Toke. Okay. Toke, what's going on? Why don't you want me to come close to you? Are you scared of me? Um, no, I'm sorry. You know what? I'll just um, see you around. What are you doing? I don't bite. Why, do you, why don't you want to stay close to me and talk to me? Why, why do you keep backing away from me? Is there something I did wrong? Uh, 
did I offend you? Is it a taboo for a guy to touch a lady here? No, of course not. Then what's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Nothing is wrong? Yes, nothing is wrong. Then why wouldn't you want me to come close to you? You were practically shouting. I'm sorry, don't you know by now? By now you should have noticed something. No, I, I don't. Really, you don't? If I did, would I be asking you? <laughs> Are you okay? Um, yes, I'm okay. I'm, 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 I'm fine. Okay. Look, I didn't mean to touch you. I'm sorry that I touched you. No, no, no don't, don't worry about that. Okay, I'll just... No, wait, please. You're sure you didn't notice anything? No, I did not. Okay. Um, if it's okay by you, can we take a walk? Yeah, I can show you around. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. I like that. Okay. No, I didn't notice that. Come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Me, or did you notice that she just trusts a lot of things like you? Nothing is wrong. What is wrong with all the ladies in this match? <laughs> Nothing is wrong. Um, well, did you see the way she crossed over to the other side like you did before? That's my best friend, Shola. Nope. Shola, meet Dr. Fred, the new doctor in the village. Dr. Dafe, you're welcome. It's nice to meet you, Shola. <laughs> all right, Shola, I'll see you later. Okay, yeah. Is it me or do all the ladies in, the, in this village go away from men and wait for men to just grab their arms? <laughs> no. So it's me then? No, it's not. I'm sure the nurses in the hospital didn't run away from me. Yeah, come to think of it, they didn't. One even threw herself at me. She did? Yeah. Okay, but you're not supposed to say that. Why not? You're not being modest. I don't see the need to be. Ugh, you're arrogant too. Now she doesn't like that. Are you going to run away from me again? Of course not. But if I do, that will serve you right for being arrogant. Fine, maybe I'll try next time. Then I'm going to tell everybody in the village that you threw yourself at me. No, I did not throw myself yes, at Yes, you did. I only grabbed your arm. <laughs> well, a lady who is not modest can misinterpret you. What? Yes, that's what you get for telling Come on. whatever it is that Come happened. Back. Yes. She threw herself at me, but that is the truth. But you're not supposed to say it. Why? Shola. Okay. How are you? I'm fine. What's going on? Yeah, I saw you walk side by side with the doctor, even holding his hands. I was holding his hands, right? <sighs> I can't remember the last time someone held my hand. Shola, you talked about a miracle, right? This is it. This is a miracle. Really? Yes. He, he didn't complain. He didn't notice. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, how is that possible? I don't know, he was the one who grabbed my hands. I even waited for him to notice and run away, but he didn't. <laughs> that means his sense organ is really bad. Like, really, really bad. Like, I think so too. Shola, do you know the last time someone touched me? That was two years ago, before my mother died. So, what are you going to do? What do you mean, what am I going to do? Of course, befriend him, maybe make him fall in love with me. Like me, marry me, or not okay. <laughs> Even if he falls in love with you, you think he will marry you? Why not? Okay, what about his friends, his family, his people? Or do you expect him to live in isolation with you? Alright, fine. Even if he doesn't get to marry me, I can make him have sex with me. But really? Yeah, have sex with you. <laughs> Just like that, or okay? Just like that. Why are you, Sandra? Are you still a virgin? You see? I can get to have sex with him and then I can have a child with him. Even if I don't get to marry him. At least I can have a child of my own. So even when my friends are all getting married, I can have a child. 
I understand. I'm really sorry. I, I understand. Well, you don't have to be sorry, my friend. You talked about a miracle, right? And this is the miracle, so we should celebrate. <laughs> anyway, um, you have my support. Any decision you make, I will support you. Hmm? Thank you. <sighs> Somebody touched me today. I'm just wondering how it's a miracle. Somebody touched me. I feel so good. Is that right? I'm wondering how he couldn't perceive. I feel so good. So good. So good. I feel good. <laughs> Somebody touched me today. <laughs> Hey, Yes, Do you need anything? Uh, I've been meaning to ask. What? All that food and my washed and iron clothes, who arranges for those? Oh, that. These the villagers, they have a key to your place. So you mean to tell me that there is a key to my room that every villager has access to? Yes. So with that, any one of them that is their turn, we have access to your place when you are at work. So you're telling me that all the villagers have access to my privacy? Yes, no one will have you. No, I don't want that. Gabe, I need you to get that key for me. Come on, doctor. I am serious. I want that key right now. Okay, as you wish. Thank you. Oh, I have access to my room. Good day. I remember you. Uh, Shola, right? Yes, Doctor. So why did you run away from me the other day? I'm, I'm sorry. So what is wrong with you? Um, doctor, I've been having this um, constant headache mm -hmm. for over one week now, and I've taken herbs, but it's not working. So aside from the headache, what else are you experiencing? Nothing else. So take this to the lab, <coughs> let him do those tests and then we'll take it from there. Yes, sir. One more thing, Shola. Don't run away from me, I don't bite. I won't. All right, no problem. Deborah, did you send that pregnant woman's files to the doctor's office? No. How will I send it? She hasn't balanced up. Deborah, I did not ask you if she was going or not. Did you send the files to me? I did not. I passed it to the store. Yeah. Doctor. Why can't I go so for lunch? Oh, there's a very good book I down the road. It's a really good book. Would you like me to show you? Yes, please come. Let's go together. Just help me finish. Thank you. When you come back, you do your work. No problem. Just describe. Describe. Let me show you. somehow. It's re really lovely to see. Really? Yes. Right. Um, doctor, about the key. The villagers will misunderstand. Okay, you can call me down. All right, let them misunderstand all they want. I'm not going to allow every villager have access to my room at any time. Okay, how about we do it this way? We'll give the key to just one person, and when it's anybody's turn to clean, they collect the key from that same person. Come on, Nika, it's the same thing. It's not, doctor. That's where there will be accountability. No, Nika, I don't like the idea. I don't like it. At least think sense. about it. Please. All right. <sighs> Doctor, Nurse Nike. Are you going to stand there and talk to me again like we did the last time? I thought we've gone past it. I, I will see you some other time. Bye, Doctor. What's wrong with all the girls in this village? How do you mean? The last time I met her, she was she stood very far away from me. I had to go and grab her arm before she came close. <coughs> Wait. You actually stood close to Toke and had a discussion. Yes. And you still don't know why she's acting the way she is. Why are you sounding disturbed? Uh, doctor, do you have anosmia? Okay, you're smart. Yes, but what does that have to do with anything? Okay, because for you to stand close to Toke and not perceive anything, it definitely means your sensory organs are not working. What are you talking about? 
Okay, the reason why she keeps such a distance is because she doesn't want to offend you with her body odor. Wow. Is it that bad? Very offensive. No one can stand it. Oh my goodness. That's such a bad thing. She's such a lively person. Yeah, she is. It's really unfortunate, really. Oh. So that's why she always just runs away. Exactly. Oh. I don't... You have never seen anything. Yes. You're very smart, Nelson. <laughs> So it's you that they have been running away from and not me. I see that um, Nosnik had told you. Yes, she did. I was very happy the day you didn't run away from me. And you touched me. I'm so sorry, I should have told you. Oh, it's fine. It doesn't make any sense to tell your personal problems to a complete stranger. Right. So you don't perceive anything? Well, my sense of smell is not as strong as it's supposed to be. I thought as much. So, uh, how long have you been like this? Since I was a child, my mother used to beat me every time. But when she died, it's like the whole smell became worse. Sometimes I can't even stand my own body odor. Have you tried to look for a solution? A solution? There's nothing my mother didn't do. There's nothing I haven't even tried. But still, nothing. So what did the doctor say? The doctor, Papa. That was the last doctor. The one that died at uh, 91? Yes. He tried everything, but nothing worked. I see. Why don't you come and see me in the office tomorrow, or the hospital? Okay. Is there a cure? I'm not saying that. I'm just saying we'll conduct some tests and then we'll see how it goes from there. Okay. So, how have you been? That's my line. Well, I asked you first. Let me think, how have I been? Mm, I can't remember. <laughs> Top jaws. What's wrong with you? Oh, I just said I can't remember. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I beg. That's the service. Oh, she's thinking climbing the mango tree. Uh -huh. Deborah, please be compassionate for once. Oh, she wanted to show them that she's a spa woman. Compassionate. Oh, we have missing again. What's that? Huh? So it's you. Good afternoon. Mm. I did it. The doctor asked me to see him. I waited for everyone to leave before mm. coming. Mm. You are not among the everyone. Sorry. <coughs> it's okay. Sorry, okay. He's going to kill. Thank you. That was harsh. Mm. Harsh. So I should die because I'm lost. Mm. Please, let me go. Do you have anything like a long body spray? Please, 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 that's why she has left. She has left, but you don't stay here. You're here? Yes, sir. Come, come closer. It's okay. It's all right. What's wrong? It's not safe. Okay. How are you today? Good. Please, sit. Well, I'm glad to know that you're, you're well. Since we have agreed that my sense of smell is not as good as it should be. It's still working. <laughs> okay, thank you for pointing that out. Well, that's the truth. So okay, so since we have agreed that my sense of smell is not working, I would have somebody else to answer the questions I want to ask you. Um, no, I can answer the questions. I want somebody else to answer them. Okay, since Nos, Nos Deborah is very busy and Gabriel is too nice of a gentleman to tell the truth, I think we can ask Nos Nike. So Nos Deborah is the one who has offended you? It's not him. No, it's not even about that. If she's serious about this profession, then she should do better. Nos! Can't you hear Nos? 
Are you not the one working with the doctor today? So because I'm the one working with the doctor, you expect me to go into that office with this offensive odor? I want to. She can't be doing that now. She's probably having a bad day. No, no, it's not about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, no problem. Let's go. Let's go. What is it? So there's no impression. Has she not left? Do you want to throw up? I, I actually feel like throwing up. Then vomit. Where is Nose Deborah? Is she not the one supposed to work here with me this morning? Mm, yes, but... If she doesn't come here now, let her pack her things and leave. Yes, Doctor. Doctor, it's not him, really. No, it's not about that. I'm just tired of her bitter attitude. Already, the people we're dealing with here are stressed out, so I don't want her to add her, her bitterness on top of that. I will not tolerate it. He's calling you. For what? He probably felt the way you, were, you humiliated her. Did I humiliate her? Anyways, he said you should come to his office or pack your things and go home. <laughs> now, Dr. Shah, I just like to say things like this. He cannot even do. Eh? He cannot fire me. I'm sorry, you even may ask. Who can fire you? The doctor. <laughs> well, if you must know, he can. And he will if you do not move yourself back to his office immediately. <sighs> so that the two of you can go up against me. Eh? This doctor is just giving my trouble. If you do. Or should I go. Take it. Ah. this one from now. I don't know. I'm sick and tired of that game. Oh, Honestly, my people have been good and nice to you. Oh, so you're playing on top now. I'm <laughs> stating the facts. We're good people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. You, you sent for me, don't you? Yes. Take off your mask. Sir? You heard me. Now I want you to describe the smell that you perceive to me. Sir? Miss Tokyo is here for a medical examination, is she not? Describe the smell to me. Sir, it's very offensive. I know that. I want to know, does it smell like rotting food? Does it smell like rotting feces or urine? A rotting fish, doctor. Rotting fish. <sighs> okay, um, not help me get a specimen container there. <laughs> rotting fish. Could I be able to answer the question? Well, I believe that your sister might have been accustomed to it, so I wanted a second opinion. From the looks of things, you might be suffering from trimethylaminuria. What? We will conduct some tests and then we will take it from there. Thank you, you can go. Thank you, Doctor. How did it go? <sighs> can you imagine he asked me to take off my nose mask? Eh? And describe that girl's body odor. <laughs> Just to annoy me, yes. <sighs> and then he pretended he was writing something down as if he was truly examining her. Do you know what the bathroom is? No. And you wouldn't want to ask? It's fine. Um, come, I'll show you. <laughs> Give me the result of this. I'll pay for it. All right, doctor. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Jeez. How does he even cope with her? And doesn't that would have disgust him? They were up already. He was not prepared to examine her. <coughs> Fake news. Your smells. You're throwing up. <coughs> what is your problem? <coughs> How? Well, you're sick. I mean, what is it? You work at home. You work at work. Well, oh, at least I don't work as much as someone I know. <laughs> so, how was your day? So, so. Hmm. Guess who I ran into today? Daffy. No. His friend Chris. Oh! Did you say something? That Daffy went out of town. Wait. Daffy's new job took him out of town. <laughs> you mean he didn't tell you about it? <laughs> he doesn't discuss anything with me, sis. Like seriously? Mm -mm. So why are you still waiting for his call? Oh, well, let me tell you. You are too beautiful for one man. Just too beautiful for one man. You have a good job. 
You've got everything. So you can't be waiting for one man just like that. Okay? You know what? You are going out tonight. Mm -mm. I'm no, taking no. you. No, 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 I mean it. Sister. I mean, I'm taking you out tonight. I don't want to. And you're going to change into something hot. Mm -mm. You need to shake up some things, please. Mm -mm. You need I to go. Want. No, I mean it too. You need to go out. You see, I'm taking you to club. You need to go and shake. No. And I don't want to. Shh. I said we are going out today. In fact, I'm not going. You will go. <laughs> now. <laughs> Wait, so why am I? I'm not going. I want to work. I don't even know why people stop in my work because of you. Bye bye. <laughs> I said you are going with me. Better go and change. I'm changing. Hey, Chris. Oh, my God. How far off? I dare you, I dare you. I don't know where I'm living now. Where would I send me to my this? Yeah. Someone has been trying to reach you. Yeah, what's happening? Yeah, it's about your job with Zenith Specialist. Yeah? It's been sorted out. He sent a letter meant for another doctor. Can you imagine? What? Yes. But you need to be at work. Yes, sir. So, wait, 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 Chris, wait. Are you telling me that that job has always been mine? Yes, they've been expecting you. They called Chairman and asked him why you didn't show up. Uh, yeah, so I, I, um, I'm going to work now, but I'll tell them that I'm leaving. To, I'm going to tell them I'm leaving today. Then I'll leave the I'll leave this uh, place tomorrow morning, first thing tomorrow morning. Yeah? You need to report to work in like three days. Can you make it? Good. Call Chama. Yeah, I will, I will, I will, I will. Thanks, Kiso. Yes! Ah! Ah! Can you tell me that? Me, that's a dead only that you give my job to somebody else. Me, my brain gave up now. Come on, I was made for this. Medicine is, is a calling. Ah! You give my work for that person. No. Come on. I knew! See, see, see my lip. Ah! Yes! <laughs> so, uh, guys, I'm leaving. Le <laughs> wait, wait. Gabriel! Yeah? Gabriel! I'm leaving. What do you mean you're leaving? Exactly what it means. But what about the patients? You were supposed to be here till Dr. Elvis resumes. And you still have about a month and two whole weeks to go. Well, your community should have known to hire somebody who was willing to resume immediately. And the last time I checked, you guys were fine before I came here. So you guys will be fine by the time I leave or until whoever it is you guys have hired resumes. But we had our hope in you. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I have to go. I've always known he wasn't going to last. What is wrong with you? Must you always be negative? Well, I said it. I've always known you are the major problem we have in this clinic. She's not the major, she's the only problem. She's not the major problem, the only one. Try concentrating more on getting a new doctor. He's down. He's going to help you. Damn. Morning. Okay, how are you? I'm fine. Doctor, where are you going? I'm leaving. You're leaving? Yes. You're leaving the village? Yes, I was asked to come and resume my job in the city. If not, I'll lose it. Doctor, are you leaving us? Are you leaving me? Yes, Doctor, I have to. Look, when the new doctor comes, you can talk to him. I'm sure he would also be able to help you. But I thought you said you were going to help me. It's okay, I have to go, okay? I'm sorry.
are you saying? What do you mean my daughter has left? Today is my checkup. I know, madam. It's just that he was asked to resume his previous place of work. There was nothing we could do. Hey, 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 Well, we all know that his stay here was temporary. Hey, listen, everyone. There's no need to panic. Oh, welcome. Back. Thank God. I know you not abandon us. You're a very good man. Um, good day, madam. Are all those patients at the scene? Yes, all of them, sir. Okay. Um, let me just settle down and then you can send the first patient in. Okay, sir. Welcome, doctor. Thank God. Doctor, ask for. You guys, How are you? So, what is wrong with you? I'm having stomach and headache. Stomach and headache. When did you start feeling these symptoms? Just today. Just today. Okay. Um, so, what side of your belly hurts you? To the left or the right side? side? To the left side. Okay. Left side. So, we'll just conduct a few tests and then we'll give you, tell you, let you know what we're going to do. you cried enough. He left without letting you know. So, Miss, you're not important. Just get a hold of yourself already. If they inform you, that means you're not important. I just had to come back. And what about your work in the city? It's okay. I, could, I couldn't just leave everybody hanging. I'm sorry. It's okay. I came back because of you too. Come, sit. I have news for you. So, your results are out. So... And my prognosis was correct. You have trimethylaminuria. It's a situation where your body um, produces the chemical trimethylamine. So it's chemical, right? Yes. So what happens is that your body produces this chemical, but it also um, burns it during digestion. But in your case, your body produces it, but it's unable to burn it. And the excess of it is what makes you smell like... Rotten fish. But is it cure, right? No. What? But there is uh, a solution. There's a way you can manage it. By managing it, do you mean I'll be able to talk to people without having to shout or keeping a distance from people? Yes. Well, you don't sound so sure. Well, I haven't treated anybody to say before. And um, it's a solution. The only difference here is that you have to do it for life. And with the help of some lifestyle changes and some supplements you should do fine i was really hoping that i would get a cure come on it's okay it's a solution all right it's the only difference here is that you're going to do it for the rest of your life that's it okay all right no problem i will i'm ready to listen okay so first off i have ordered for 
um, copper chlorophyll and active charcoal. Charcoal? What do you have to order for it now? We have charcoal in this village. What your body needs cannot be extracted from the local charcoal. So I think it's best that we just get the processed one and get you what your body needs. Mm. So how much is that going to cost? Come on. I'll handle the cost. Let's just say it's my own little way of saying I'm sorry for living without saying goodbye. <laughs> Thank you. So, can I tell you what it is you have to be doing for the rest of your life? Yeah. So, you'd have to avoid foods that produce that chemical. Foods like eggs, fish, uh, liver. Sorry, hold on. I want to dance on this. Yeah. I have to avoid food like egg, fish, liver, beans, peanuts. Anything that makes me sweat. Yes. All of that. So what happens is that um, you produce this chemical when you breathe, when you sweat, uh, through urine, and also during your menstrual period. So every time you sweat, the smell becomes overbearing. But I run a lot. So you have to be doing more walking than running. It also says here that I have to avoid certain lotion and soaps. Thank you so much. Come on. I'm only doing my job. So it's about your job, not me. Yes. So of course it's about you. I really like you. Dr. Daffy, Dr. Daffy, Please, this is my friend. I know who he is. I asked, what is going on here? Nothing, we were, we were just taking a walk. Yeah. My friend, Fred. Fred. Oh, um, it's nice to meet you, Fred. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. I was just coming to your house. I hope there's no problem. Uh, there's a problem. Have you seen uh, Toke and the doctor? Uh, what's going on with them? No, 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 no. It's all for me. What's going on with them? Oh, that. It's nothing. It's nothing. Mm -hmm. It's nothing. They're holding hands in Adubo, walking around the whole place. Oh, you think I'm a child? No, 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 Shala. You think I'm a child? Fred, take it easy. She's just with him because he can't perceive anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. He doesn't. So you see, you shouldn't just be quick in your judgment. This is the first time she's working with someone freely, so you don't expect her, you know, not to be happy. So does that mean, does that give her the right to go and be holding that man inside where we live in this community, holding hands, talking and laughing? She's my woman. She doesn't have any right to go and be with another person. It's, it's embarrassing now. Fred, I think you should just talk to her. Like and I think that's what I'm going to do. In fact, I'm going to at least right now. Thank you very much. I was coming to your place to discuss Fred, this. Jay, Jay. Thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Kilo shake, my doctor. Sorry, my doctor. He's just my friend. Just your friend, Abeko. So that's why you're walking around the village, holding hands, uh, uh, doing like couple. Uh, is, is, is that it? So what if I was holding hands with the doctor? Huh? You do that all the time, don't you? Just this once, and then you're you're acting like this. Do you know what it feels like to be me? I do. No, you don't. I do. No, you don't. Then you don't try to judge me. But you've lived my life at least for a week. Okay. 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 I'm still talking. Okay. I have said it now. Yeah, that's what I'm telling you now. I can't do that. Yeah, the network here is really bad. That's what I'm saying. Hello, Chris. Can you hear me? Hello. The network here is bad. Yeah, the network here is everything here is bad. It's crazy. No, Chris. I can't just do that. I just can't abandon everybody and just go. 
It's not done now. It's not on me. They, they made the mistake. They made the mistake. So they had better do, do right or do better. They should keep the job until I get back in and I'll sue their behind. That's it. Chris, I can't just opt and leave like that. That's, that's not how things are done. Just tell Chama what I've said. That's it. Hello? Hello? Yeah, yeah, Chris. I, I want to ask you one thing before you go. Um, have you seen or heard from Tiffany since? Oh, okay. Um, no, I haven't called her. All right, my G. Yeah, thank you. Just tell the channel that. Yeah, thanks. I don't even know why I asked after her. It's all moody and sweet. And suddenly you begin to feel the heat. Up this card and out, and you want out. Out of this one beautiful relationship. You start to wonder if this love was real. But deep down in your heart, love is what you feel. You must understand that love has its ups and downs. And in time, things should turn around for the best. True love always stands the test of time. Stands the test of time in love. Is what to find feeling. A special someone you find. Hey, doctor. Hey, doctor. Doctor. Fred, how I, are you? I am not fine. I am not fine at all. I have come here to warn you. Stay away from my woman. Stay away from my woman. Your woman? Yes. Toke is my woman. Toke has been has been given to me by God. Toke, Toke. Stay away from my woman, no? Because after all this love, you are finished playing in this Adugo. You will hold her hand and be, and be running around. Who do you think, and you have gone back to the city, who do you think will be there to, to, to console her? To, to be there on a, on a night when she's, when she's weeping? Stay away from my woman, no? Stay away from my woman! I'm not playing with okay? you, See, I have warned you. I am good with the matches. Stay away from my woman. I have said my own. Doctor, seriously, you are doing with this lady for long. Trying to make sure she's okay, looking for solution. Please. As you see him, he's very, very angry. Leave her. Let the two of them be together, okay, please? It's been two weeks since I did everything that Dr. Daffy asked me to do. I can't perceive anything now. Or oh, is my nose deceiving me? It's like his smell has reduced. What am I going to test with now? I see my nose. Ah, Shola is here. I'll just ask her. Shola, you are welcome. What is it? Please stay away. Shola, I'm just trying to see if my body odor has reduced. Ah, no, no, no. Stay away now. Kilo day. Ah, well, Shola, you are my friend now. If I don't test with you, who else will I test with? It's really not. It's just for you to see. What is it? Um, in fact, you know what? I'm leaving. Ah, ah Shola. Hey. Ah, boy. I can't perceive anything now. Can you see my nose that is deceiving me? Okay. Okay. Okay, Jassy. 
friend. So this is what you want to do inside this village? Eh? You're listening to that doctor. Look, he's deceiving you. He's deceiving you. He will not marry you. Stop. Hey, oh, stop. Hey, oh, that what, that's what stop. I need you to do something for me. What? Give me. I need you to come a bit closer to me. Okay, you need to stop this. Please. You, you know I'm too in love with you. Stop playing games. Please, I just need you to come closer. If the smell becomes unbearable, then you can stop. You're serious? How is the smell? I'm not smelling anything. Then come closer. A little more. Can you perceive anything? I, I, I can't. But it's so faint. I, I can't. Really? What did you do? <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. God. Even you can't perceive anything. I, I can't. <laughs> what did you do? It was the doctor. The doctor said that. So, okay. Are you really telling me? This does not have a cure. Yes, it doesn't. But the doctor said if I'm able to keep up with this lifestyle, then I can be able to have moments like this. I can chat with people like this. This is a miracle. Okay. Yes, it's a miracle. This man. is a miracle. It's a miracle. Uh, you know, I, I can't believe that a day we call that is this close to you. I never imagined it myself. I, I, but I told you we would never give up. I told you. I told you we'd be together. Yes, you did. <laughs> Okay. Is this really to you? It's not, it's not, not okay. It's not What else? What about you? I'm here to be with you because I know early in the morning, uh, no sweat, no stress, uh, no smell, and I'm here to be with you. I'm yeah, not serious. <laughs> okay, um, since you want us to spend time, let me just go and shower. Yes. Okay, and brush my teeth. Oh, okay, go and do your thing. Just leave me here. Uh, I hope you have washed out your pot. I will do some magic for you. <laughs> you want to cook? I uh, just want to. <laughs> Because I know, I know when you cook, there will be too much smoke and the smell will be too much. So I say, I don't want you to stress. So I'm here to do all that for you. And just go and do your thing. Yes, sir. I, I'll be here waiting for you. So you want to? I'm okay. going to. Don't oh, worry. I'm in control. Okay, let me be back, yeah, I'll be back. No sweat, oh. You're finished? Yes. Oh, you're smelling like, like flour. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. So you really want to go to see uh -huh. Why not? If not. Why? No, 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 no. Just stay as you are. You know, I don't want you to sweat. I don't want any stress. Now that you're smelling like, like rose. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know no more farm work, Abby? Uh, well, that's my only source of no, income no, no, now. No, 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 no. That was your only source when you had to be alone. Uh, now that you're smelling like, like flour. Uh, yeah, no more hard hustle, babe. No more hard hustle. Okay. Well, what will I now be doing? Uh, I'll open a provision shop for you. Provision shop. Mm -hmm. ah. Will anybody come? Ah. Why would they not come? Look, darling. Uh, uh, once people just need to feel safe. Once they can't smell anything and uh, no harm is coming to them and they have a chance to see this your this your beautiful face, everything will be okay. Don't come, don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you. Yes. Don't thank me now. Thank me by spending the rest of your life with me. <laughs> I want that too. It's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Doctor. Hi. Hey. I can see that it's working. Yes, doctor, it is. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, oh, come on. I was only doing my job. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. <laughs> doctor. I don't know what we'll do without you. Listen to me and listen to me carefully. I have only two things to say. Thank you. And secondly, you see this your chest? And this is your broad shoulders. Cutlass used to remove it. So stay away from this girl. You see this girl? She's mine. Remove your leg from this compound. <laughs> doctor! Oh, God bless you, doctor. Bye-bye, uh, <laughs> doctor. Is he angry? No, he said he's happy for us. 
He said that uh, he has not seen the kind of love that we have. <laughs> He's such a nice man. God be blessed. Like I've told you not to touch this thing. Oh, now allow me to something. Leave it now. alone. Leave it alone. Yeah, leave it alone. Okay, you know what? Then we go and get the uh, No, 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 no. Don't move. What does pot entail? Is it not sweat? Is it not stress? So then you now stress. Yes, well, me. Stay there. I'm going to get it myself. I'm going to get it myself. In fact, before I go, let me, let me. <laughs> You're spoiling me. I'm coming. <laughs> Feeling something for someone else. Don't tell me where I'm going. Don't tell me I'm going. I love him really. Still, you should have told me that he's your boyfriend. Wait, are you trying to tell me that you don't have a girlfriend in the city? But she broke up with me. She... She broke up with you. Like, why would any woman in her right senses break up with a man like you? <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that, but Tiffany did. What did you do? Me? Why do you think I did something? Because I feel like you must have done something. What happened? Tell me. I was married to my work. I was focusing so much on my work that I didn't, I didn't spend time with her. So, yeah. Without getting her time, I wasn't. You know, so basically, yes, I was being the job. I thought as much. But you still love her. Love, it doesn't go away, does it? Not easily. Yes, I'm stuck with it. I think you should go back to her before it's too late. <laughs> I have nothing to offer. She's smart, and beautiful. She has this great job. What could I possibly offer? Oh, please don't sell yourself too short. Yes, I think that if you go back to her, make her see that you're a changed person, and you take her as a priority, she might change her mind. Make a priority. Yeah. Every woman loves to feel like a priority in a man's life. Just like me and Fred. He always put me into consideration, takes me as a priority. You know, frequently he visits my house in the morning even before I wake up. Why is that? It feels like it's the best time for us to bond without my illness being in the way. Hmm. So you're saying that before I make any decision, I have to put her into consideration? Yeah, if you want to spend the rest of your life with her. So I probably shouldn't be taking this new job. That you can talk to her about it. She might surprise you. you know, I'm glad I met you. No, I am glad I met you. You should come to the city sometime. City. I've always thought about that. Well, I'll think about it. Thank you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> we need to go back in front of this. No, uh, it's fine. You're, you're, you're schooling me and I appreciate it. But you're not angry anymore. I was more afraid than angry. Yo, do you have to see your boyfriend's face? He was going to cut my eye. <laughs> no, he was just joking He was you. not look. he didn't look like He was joking face. with no, you. No, <laughs> the look in his eye was, he was going to cut my arm. <laughs> I can't do He's that. Good He's good with the matches. No. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. I just want to say a very big thank you for your cooperation so far. Thank you for being good patients. Thank you for taking good care of me while I was here. Thank you for also taking care of yourselves. You guys have been very good people. Thank you to everybody who made sure that I had food. People who were cooking my food while I was here. For the people who washed my clothes, ironed my clothes. Uh, thank you so much for everything. I almost said patience, but uh, thank God all of you are healthy now. The ones who are recovering, thank you so much. And I just want all of you to remember that um, your health is wealth. Take care of yourself and uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. So take care of yourself, stay clean, maintain good hygiene and everything will be fine. Doctor, I want to say a very big thank you to you. Thank you for all the directions and prescriptions. Now, I'll be able to live very well with my fellow village people. I want to say thank you. Thank you for coming. I appreciate everything. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, our good doctor. Thanks for coming. It's been a very, very long time. Like, we don't have a doctor in this village. But since he came, we have been okay. No more abs. I think that's gone. We'll be fine. We say thank you, doctor. 
We wish you would not leave us. We just stay with us here, yeah, but you have to go. God bless you, doctor. You are a very good person. God bless you. I will set you back to your place. Bye bye. Bye bye. Um, baby, this is uh, Fred and Sophia. Uh, oh, nice to meet you. I was back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice to, okay, so um, this is uh, Tiffany, my wife. Hi, Tiffany, right? <laughs> I'm glad you actually worked out. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> you guys have any kids? Uh, two. We're born boys. <laughs> two boys. <laughs> two boys. <laughs> Man, you're a sharp shooter, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I have to use this opportunity to say thank you. So I appreciate you. And I apologize for using a cutlass to threaten you. Yeah, I didn't know. Oh, so sorry. Cutlass, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought he was Rick Marolin. But I didn't know he was an angel sent to us. Doctor, thank you once more. Thank you once more. No, now that you're in the city, you should definitely visit us. Have dinner with us, eh? Yeah. Of course, of course. All right. Oh, Doctor, thank you so much. Wow. Doctor, thank you. Wow. Thank you. Doctor, two boys. Two boys. Two boys. All the best. Congratulations. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Right. Bye. 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 Bye